What's happening guys? It's Shane here. So another day and another tier list. That's right. This time I'm going to be going over the most popular college majors in degrees and then ranking them on whether they're a good investment or not. Now, a lot of my subscribers probably know me from my video college majors that are actually worth it or the most worthless degrees where I talk about which majors I think are outrageous and they're just not worth it at all and which majors I think are a very, very good investment. Some of them are worth the outrageous fees that colleges are charging us these days and then some of them are going to lead to you not being able to get a job and then working in a completely different industry like you know the coffee industry working as a Starbucks barista. Now there's a ton of different majors so I'm just gonna go over the most popular ones and then I'm gonna group some of them together so that this video doesn't run for like 45 minutes. So I'm not gonna include majors like smashing the like button for instance because even though you should definitely do that and that would be awesome because it would help me with the YouTube algorithm. It's not something that I should put on the video because it would just take too long. So let's get started with number one, which is anything with the word studies in it. Yes, that is a rule that I'm setting right now. Anything with the word studies in it is automatically gonna go into F tier. There are little to no jobs for people who graduate with these degrees and the few jobs that are out there probably get 100 applicants every single day and so, you know, your chances of actually getting a job are very, very low. Anything with the word studies in it is going to go in F tier. I'm sure there's probably somebody in the comments who's going to find an exception to this rule, but generally this is a very good rule to follow. Unless you want to go $40,000 into debt without being able to get a job, and then you just end up living paycheck to paycheck, barely getting by. Next one on the list is going to be math. Now, math isn't the most popular subject in the world. You could probably be safe saying that a lot of people actually hate math, but if you are blessed by the gods and you're somehow one of those few people who is just naturally very good at it, then this can be a pretty lucrative degree for you. Although there aren't that many jobs out there that have people just purely doing math, a lot of math majors end up switching their career into something like computer science, where their ability to create and solve algorithms actually ends up helping them a lot and they actually have a leg up on a lot of computer science degrees because they understand how algorithms work. So a lot of them end up switching careers and becoming, you know, programmers or, uh, you know, something like that. So for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and put math in B tier. Now, the next one on the list is going to be language studies. And this includes a lot of different ones, but you know, I give a lot of grief to this because you could literally just take that $40,000 plus dollars that you're paying in tuition and housing and, and food and all that, and then you could just move to whatever country's language that you're studying. The best way to learn a language is to speak with people who know that language. And so let's say you're trying to learn Spanish, you could just move to Mexico and then just talk with people who are speaking Spanish all day long. You'd learn it much faster this way. And while you're there, you could actually get a job as either a translator or an English teacher or something along those lines and then you could literally get paid to learn that language. Now, to be fair, there are some languages that are more profitable, more lucrative to learn, like Mandarin Chinese, Arabic, Russian, Dothraki. And if you do get really good at those languages, you can make a good living as a translator. So for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in D tier because it's not completely useless. Next on the list is gonna be business degrees, and this encompasses a bunch of different degrees, but this actually has pretty good stats in terms of job openings and how much you can actually get paid, so that's pretty great. But I don't think anybody wants to work in a cubicle in an office for the rest of their life, unless it's the right office. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Bears do not... What is going on? A tier. Now, the next one on this list is honestly kind of heartbreaking. It's extremely sad, and that's gonna be education. So even though this is probably one of the most important degrees you could possibly get because education is so important for the future of our country, for some reason, the United States of America has just gotten into this situation where they don't really value education, especially in the lower grades. Whereas you have a country like South Korea, for instance, where teachers are considered to be on the same level as doctors and lawyers. It's actually extremely prestigious to be a teacher and you get paid very, very well. And that's probably one of the reasons that South Korea is consistently S tier when it comes to 
their scores against the rest of the world in education. So even though teaching is one of the most important jobs in the United States, they're worked to death and they're not paid very well. And so for that reason, I really don't recommend getting into this career. And I really, really wish I could say you should go get this degree, but it's just not true. You shouldn't. This one is going to go into C tier. Okay, so that's how it's going to be. Y'all want to play. And honestly, it might be more of a B tier one, but technically you can get jobs if you get an educational degree. Like there's plenty of jobs out there. They just don't pay very well and you get worked to death. The next one on the list is going to be engineering and this is gonna be a little bit controversial, but I'm gonna go ahead and put engineering in A tier instead of S tier and here's why. There's a bunch of different types of engineering degrees out there and not all of them are created equal. So if you go for one of the better ones, you're gonna be golden. That's definitely S tier. Engineering is awesome. It's the degree that actually creates the most millionaires out of any degree, but some engineering majors are better than others. And for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and put engineering in A tier, although it is a high A tier status. The next one on the list is gonna be anthropology um, slash archeology. span And honestly, this one is fascinating but getting an actual degree in it is not a good idea for most people because there are just simply no jobs. You know, if you know somebody who is in the industry and they, you know, they're going to have an end for you, or they're going to have a job for you, then sure, go for it. But if you don't, there's just not that many jobs in this field. So I really don't have a joke or anything for this one. Um, just don't do it. Anthropology goes in D tier. Next on the list is going to be psychology. And man, oh man, this is one of the most popular majors. I think it's top five most popular majors that people take. And if you just get a normal psychology degree, a four year bachelor's and you don't go for master's or doctorate, it is so tough to find a job. Again, fascinating subject. I'm, I'm not surprised so many people are interested in this one, but how the heck are you gonna find a job? There's so many people that go into this thinking that they can find a job and then they can't. Like my psychology education is useless. And then they act so surprised. I mean, what did you think was gonna happen? If you're passionate about this subject, you better be willing to go for a master's or a doctorate, or just don't do the degree, study it on the side, make a YouTube channel about it, create a blog about it, whatever you wanna do, but don't get a degree that's not gonna lead to you getting a job. And this is a very valuable job. I think it has a lot of uh, value to society. There is a lot of need for people who are mental health professionals. And so for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in C tier. The next one on the list is gonna go straight into F tier, and that is gonna be drama, or really any of these type of fine arts. Now listen, if you're rich, you know, you're a trust fund baby, you don't ever have to worry about getting a job, then by all means, go into fine arts, get a drama degree, you can do whatever you want with your life, you're gonna be totally fine. Now, if you aren't in a situation like that where you don't have to worry about money, and then you go for a degree like this and you expect to actually get a job or you expect businesses to just be lined up outside your door waiting for your application, then you're just completely delusional. Lily Singh, here's your diploma. <sighs> We'd like to offer you a job as a psychologist. Really? No, it takes like 10 years of experience. <laughs> oh. F tier for sure. Now the next one on the list is going to be any type of health related degree like RN, you know, um, registered nurse or maybe physician's assistant, anything like that. And I know a lot about this subject because I am in the health field and getting into the health field is especially good if you're an empathetic person and you care about helping others. Now, like I said, not all of these are equal. You definitely need to do your research if you're thinking about getting a health degree, but these are pretty much future proof. And the reason for that is because unfortunately, human beings are always going to have health problems. They're always going to get sick. And because of that, there will always be a need for people to take care of them, for people to treat them or cure them. And there's always gonna be jobs anywhere that you want to be. So if you wanna live in Texas, there's gonna be jobs in Texas. If you wanna live in New York, there's gonna be jobs in New York. Certain places are gonna be a little bit more saturated than others. You might not be able to get a job there right off the bat, but after you've got a few years under your belt, you can pretty much get a job anywhere. And that's not necessarily true for a lot of the other degrees. Now health is really tough and you're gonna get worked super hard. 
you're going to see people at their absolute worst. So people that are generally super nice, amazing people might go off on you and just get really you know, mad at you. And so you got to have thick skin. But the compensation is pretty good in health careers, especially if you go for something like PA or nurse practitioner. And so for that reason, health is gonna go in S tier. Next up on the list is gonna be information technology or IT. And this career and degree is amazing because you're basically the middleman between the business side of things and the technology side of things. And these are two of the most profitable industries that you could possibly get into. So being an expert on these two things gives you a huge advantage. Now, all of the statistics are really good with IT, you know, future growth potential, job openings right now, job satisfaction score, uh, how much they make, all of the normal statistics that you look at are really good, but it's also a great segue into becoming an entrepreneur if you decide to go that way. When you're in this position, you have a unique opportunity to understand the needs of businesses right now. You know, you could notice that maybe this sort of technology for, you know, these types of clinics or pharmacies or hospitals or whatever is lacking. And then you could just be like, okay, I'm gonna create a software that makes this particular process so much easier for them and it saves them a ton of time. And then you can just start your own business and go off on your own. You can also work remotely with some IT jobs that specialize in software. And you know, with a health career, for instance, it's pretty tough to work remotely. So that's another advantage. This is just a win, win, win on all levels. And I think it's one of the best career choices. And if you're smart about the industry that you go into, if you go into a booming industry, man, there's just gonna be so many any opportunities for you, you can make an absolute killing doing IT. So for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and put IT in S tier status. Economics is next on the list, and this is another really good major to get into. I almost grouped this one in with business, but I decided to you know, keep it separate. And it is a little bit difficult to find a job with an economics degree, but once you do, and once you get some experience, you're set. You get paid really well at your job and you'll be invaluable to whoever you work for. And on top of that, economics can lead into you starting your own business because you have such a good understanding about which industries are great opportunities, how business works in general. And so you'll definitely have a leg up on the competition. Economics is definitely A tier. Now, next on the list is gonna be chemistry and biology. You wanna maybe become a doctor or a PA or something like that. It's really good to get into this in order to segue into all the knowledge you're gonna have to know anyways, if you decide to go into a health-related career, for instance. But this one is surprisingly difficult, especially the biology side, to find a job just with a four-year degree. So for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in B tier, although I would say chemistry is probably high B tier and biology is more on the low B tier side. In fact, I'd almost say chemistry is A tier. It's really borderline, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in B tier. Next on the list is probably gonna be one of my favorite subjects in the world, and that is history. You know, this is one of my biggest passions. I love listening to Dan Carlin's Hardcore History podcast and reading you know, James Michener and Leon Uris, all kinds of different books about history. With that being said, I'm extremely grateful that 17-year-old Shane decided to not pursue history and go for a degree that's a little bit more practical. And ironically, I probably have more free time now to study history and spend as much time, you know, reading about history as I want than if I actually got a history degree because I'd probably have to work two borderline minimum wage jobs just to get by. Now, in terms of stats, there honestly aren't that many jobs out there, but the ones that are out there do actually pay decently well. So I'll go ahead and put history in C tier status, but I might be a little bit biased. Honestly, it might be more of a D tier, but whatever. Next on the list is gonna be communications. And this is one of those degrees that, I kind of mentioned this before, it's so broad that it almost becomes worthless because you're not really an expert at any one thing. And it's almost hard to define what you even do with a communications degree. Now this is commonly known as the athlete's major because 
colleges don't want their athletes to fail out of classes, and so they send them into communications classes because they're kind of known for being really, really easy. It's also known as the what the hell am I doing with my life degree. So this one is gonna go into D tier for sure, borderline F tier, and the reason for that is because there are so many people that get communications degrees. It's another one of those that I believe is a top five most popular degree, and you simply just cannot get a job or it's very difficult to find a job related to communications once you graduate. Next on the list is <laughs> sociology, and uh, you can probably guess where this one is going. Another degree that's incredibly interesting, but it doesn't have any practical value in the real world. No one is willing to actually pay you in the real world for your skills as a sociologist. It's just too theoretical, at least for now. No jobs, low pay, no demand, future growth does not look good, and tons and tons of competition. This one is definitely gonna go in F tier. The next one on the list is last, but definitely not least, and that is going to be computer science. Now, computer science degree is going to be incredibly valuable in the next 40 years. We are entering into the age of automation right now, and you can either be the person who loses your job, or you can be the person who programs the software or the machine that makes people lose their job. Because there's going to be a lot of industries that are going to be disrupted by automation. And if you go into this field, you're pretty much gonna be guaranteed a job as long as AI doesn't take over and destroy all of us. This one might actually be the best one on the list. Pretty close with uh, the IT one, it's, it's, it's up there. I would say this is probably the best one on the list, probably S plus tier. Go ahead and check out my videos right here. I made them just for you. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the little notification bell, and then comment down below any ideas you have on videos you'd like to see in the future or whatever your opinion is on this video. Thank you so much and bye for now.